It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell on the door jingled once more. And the- hey, friends, welcome back to Cleaning Therapy and Merry Christmas Eve. This video just barely got out to you guys after we have had a roller coaster week, but I am just so grateful to finally have the house all decorated and finished to celebrate Christmas. This is day one, and I'm just making myself a coffee to kind of get myself ready to go, get a little energy, and have a little peace and quiet before I get to work. Normally, I have a goal to get all of the house decorated by December 1st so that we can enjoy all the decorations for a good month, but this year that definitely did not happen. So my goal became just to get them up before Christmas. So I filmed this probably about a couple weeks ago and I am just now getting around to editing it for you guys. I'm starting here in the family room. I've got everything cleared off. The Christmas tree is up. We had such a great time as a family decorating the tree. We waited for my husband to get home from the hospital and we just did that first. I love this tree so much because it just has all of our family ornaments on it. Just things that have meant so much to us and just milestones in the kids' lives and in our lives. And so this tree always brings me so much joy. And every time I pull out a new ornament, I feel like I just appreciate it and enjoy it all over again. And then the kids always get a new ornament in their stocking every Christmas to kind of commemorate whatever's going on in their life right now. When they were babies, we always just gave them baby ornaments or first this or first that or a little baby picture. Now that they're getting a little bit older, we like to just give them something that kind of is like a theme of something they went through this year. So I'm really excited for them to open up their new ornaments this year. And I love looking at all the ornaments that we have so far on our tree. So I'm just starting here by adding this blanket ladder over here in the corner, just as a place to hang these jingle bells and put this cute cozy throw on. So this is all mostly decor that I've already purchased from years past. This is my fourth or fifth year on YouTube. So I have quite the collection and I try not to buy a lot of new Christmas decor. But I do love to change it up and just put everything out differently each year and create a different look. If you have any questions about where I got certain pieces of decor, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions and provide links as I can. So now I'm just taking this Woosh screen cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off our TV screen. It had a lot of fingerprints on it and I just wanted to get this nice and cleaned off first. Make sure and hit the like button if you love Christmas videos. This will be my last Christmas themed video this year. And make sure and leave me an emoji if you're hanging out with me today. This sofa just kind of needed a little bit of straightening, so I'm just gonna kind of work my way around, get everything fluffed up and straightened up before I add any throw pillows. I also was looking at this landscape art that I have. These are just prints that I download off of Etsy and Image and then get them printed at Office Depot. So it's just a really affordable way to have seasonal art and to change it out and it's really pretty easy. You just pop it into the frame 
And then I'm also going to store this one behind the Christmas picture that I printed so that um, it will be protected and I don't have to try to store it. It ended up being a little bit too long on the side, so I ended up having to cut it a little bit. But I really like the way it came out in the end. Let me know in the comments what your plans are for Christmas Eve. We normally go to my parents' house for Christmas Eve with my brother and sister, but since my mom's in the hospital during Christmas, we won't be able to do that. So we're actually gonna reschedule Christmas with our family so that we can truly enjoy it when she's home from the hospital. So it'll be a quiet Christmas Eve around here, and then we'll get together with my brother and sister-in-law on Christmas Day, and I'll just try to provide the closest thing I can to what mom and dad normally do for Christmas. It's definitely not gonna be perfect, but we'll just be glad that we're all together. And then when my mom gets out of the hospital, we'll do our Christmas with her and my dad at that time. So you're gonna notice in this video that I had to film it in sections over a couple of different days. So much was happening. And so we were all just doing the best we could to kind of continue to work to make Christmas special for the kids because I know that having the tree up and having the decorations up kind of brings that Christmas magic for the kids, especially during a stressful time. So it was really important to me to make sure to keep going and keep getting in the Christmas spirit and having Christmas joy. But at the same time, I think I needed it just as much. So I kept telling myself that I was doing it for the kids, but I know I was doing it for me too. And certainly for Tony too, because he definitely needed some Christmas joy. So I love the way this picture came out. I'm just giving it a little cleaning on the glass and then I'm gonna get it put back up. Here are the pillow covers that I have for the family room this Christmas. So these are from Amazon. This one is a nice boucle cover. It's really soft, cozy. And then I have it paired with this Christmas plaid with reds and blues and yellows and greens. So I just thought this was a really pretty combination. I really like the neutral tones with that deeper shade of green. I think it's really pretty. My goal is always to keep the dining room a little bit dressier and more neutral. And then in the family room, I definitely add more color, touches of red. And then I also like to just make it more casual and just kind of that homey Christmas vibe um, with the family ornaments and the plaid. And it just, it's a little more traditional and a little more casual. So I really like doing that here in the family room. But let me know in the comments how you like to decorate for Christmas and especially how you chose to decorate for Christmas this year. What's Christmas time? I'm using the Mrs. Myers all-purpose spray and the basil scent to get this coffee table cleaned off, and then I'll add some decor. Let there be just one more holy 
I'm starting here by this little pot of florals from Hobby Lobby and then I have this neutral book and I found this little wooden star at Kirkland's and I don't know why but it just was so cute to me and it just looked so cozy and perfect for the family room. So I'm gonna also light this candle from Bath & Body Works. It is called Perfect Christmas. And here's the finished look. It's super simple and I just love the way this room is turning out. Here on the end table, I'm just adding a couple of little trees from Hobby Lobby. I thought these were really cute and whimsical. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna clean this off real quick. And then I actually found a really cute gingerbread house at Hobby Lobby as well. And so I picked that up because it had some touches of red that I thought would be perfect for the family room. And I just think this is so adorable. So it's not what I usually go for, but I really wanted the family room to be fun. I also found these really cute little snowman coasters from Hobby Lobby as well. So I just love the way this came out. I think this is definitely my favorite room in the house for Christmas. Here's the final look and the family room is now all clean and calm for Christmas. So moving here into the dining room, I'll go ahead and spray off my mirror, get this cleaned off, and then we'll get something on this server. And keeping it extra simple here on the sideboard, all I'm adding is this cute wooden manger scene that I found on Amazon. I did my best and knew just how to play my part. I'm hanging my cedar wreath on this wooden arch above my fireplace. I just think it'll add a nice touch of greenery and it'll go really pretty with my garland. Both of them are faux cedar and I just think they look really nice together. But I'm also gonna add some eucalyptus to my garland because I just think that creates like such a pretty and full look and it adds like different shapes and textures to the garland. So I did that in my kitchen video. I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it here in the dining room. And by the way, if you missed my kitchen clean and decorate video, I'll go ahead and link it at the end of this video in case you're interested. That was a really fun one too. We did the hot cocoa bar and I really love the way the kitchen turned out. Now I'm going in with the fairy lights. This is another little touch that I added to my garlands this year and I just love the coziness that it adds when the sun goes down and we light our candles and I turn the fairy lights on and it just brings that Christmas magic that is something you can look forward to every day. I'm really challenging myself, especially this year, just to take so much joy in simple things. And it's something that is a good practice that we can do to challenge ourselves to find those things. So if fairy lights make you happy, 
have your fairy lights. If making yourself a nice coffee in the morning brings joy to you or having a cute little coffee bar or hot cocoa bar, then just take the time and do that for yourself, for your family, because sometimes those are the things that you'll cling to when things get hard or stressful. You'll kind of take comfort in those little moments of joy throughout the day. And so I hope that you're doing that this season. I hope you're taking time for yourself, taking time to just breathe and feel that joy and that Christmas magic. In their homes, yes, it's Christmas. It's a magic time. You can feel it in the air. That every child got their hearts filled up with joy. Yes, it's Christmas. Oh. Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. Now I'm adding eucalyptus in, just like I was saying, and I really like this. It really does change the look of the garland, and I just think that it adds such a pretty touch. Let our love us, our family and friends have a Christmas with so much love and with joy and laughter. Let us make memories that stay forever. It's Christmas today. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you At this point, I ended up getting pulled away to do something or take care of someone, who knows? And so this is day two and I am finishing decorating my mantle here. I had a lot of black candlesticks from Hobby Lobby from years past, so I decided to put a couple up here on the mantle. And then I'm also adding this cute sleigh filled with pine cones and ornaments. This sleigh is at least maybe 18 to 20 years old, so it's been with me for a while, and I don't use it every year, but I just thought it looked really pretty here on the mantle. And then I'm also adding some pine cones and a couple more ornaments just to tie in with what's in the sleigh. And then here on the hearth, I'll just have this basket with a blanket inside, which I've used so many times, but I'm adding this cute present and a couple more ornaments. And I just think this is such a cozy Cozy look and now I have my remote control and I'll go ahead and get the lights going and this fireplace is ready to go I did lose footage on when I hung these three cream stockings on the left I just purchased them off of Amazon they were very inexpensive but I just think they give such a cozy look here for the fireplace Now it's time to just get these white chairs all brushed off and situated and add a lumbar pillow. It's in that same boucle fabric from the living room. And then I also have a little throw that I've had for the longest time. Those are from Target and they are my favorite throws. So I'm just gonna add these real quick and then we'll get this coffee table cleaned off and add a little bit of decor here. Okay, so the first thing I'll add is just a bowl of pine cones and greenery. And then I have this cute porcelain white tree or ceramic white tree that I got from Kohl's. 
And then I also have a balsam fir candle that is from Kohl's as well. They had a really good deal on three wick candles this year. And so I went ahead and got, they were three for 20. So that was a wonderful deal and they smell so good. They're very high quality candles. So I would definitely recommend Kohl's for candles if you need to get any. I don't know if they have that sale any other time of year, but it was a good deal and I really like these candles. Moving on to this side of the room, as you can see, there was quite a mess on our dining room table. So my husband and son have been playing clay a lot. <laughs> so definitely a few times a week. And it's a really great thing that they can do together. Um, they like to get creative together, but it does leave a pretty good mess on the table. And it kind of leaves a residue on the table that you know takes a little bit of cleaning to get off but I just wanted to get everything picked up and get this table really good and clean, and then we'll see what we can do about adding a Christmas centerpiece. Okay, so I'm starting here with my runner. This one I picked up a few years ago, I believe at Kirkland's. It's a really nice neutral runner. It's got like a charcoal gray um, window pane plaid on it. It's really pretty. And then I'm adding another cedar garland. So I picked these up, I think about three years ago and it came in a three pack. So I have you know several of these that I use around the house. And I love having this extra one to lay just kind of running down my dining room table. I just think that's such a pretty look. It's low profile, so when you're sitting at the table, you can still speak with other people, see their faces. It doesn't get in the way, but it's just such a pretty and elegant look. And of course, I'll go ahead and string it up with the fairy lights and put some eucalyptus stems and so it'll all tie together. And I had a few more candlesticks, so I'm just gonna carry this theme over to the dining room table, tie it in with the fireplace, and have the same candlesticks running down the length of the table.
So here's the finished look and I just think it's so pretty and elegant. I love the way it ties in with the fireplace area and I do think that these two sides of the room go together really beautifully. So next up will be this sideboard and as you can see it's just full of random Christmas decor and neutral decor that I just need to find a home for. And in full disclosure, I didn't find a home for any of it that day, but I did just go ahead and put it all in my kitchen to get it out of my way so I could continue filming. So that is a real life moment. But as of the time that I'm doing this recording and doing this voiceover, it is all put away in the garage. So at least I eventually did it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get this sideboard cleaned off. And then I wanna take down this picture. I did not think it looked like Christmas or went with Christmas and so I have another print from Office Depot and it's just another image off of Etsy and I just thought with these darker colors in these trees that it would look really pretty here in the dining room. I'm also adding a dough bowl filled with ornaments and pine cones and greenery. It's from Kirkland's from years past and then I have this outlet that kind of shows and sticks out next to my sideboard so i'm just taking christmas tree in a crock and then another smaller christmas tree I'm just kind of staggering them right there just to kind of hide the outlet and the wire and then it's time to vacuum again Friends, thank you so much for joining me here on Cleaning Therapy today. I enjoyed spending time with you, especially on Christmas Eve, and I truly hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will see you one more time before the end of the year, so look out for a new video. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you soon.